Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media and Champo 1, Champo Season 1 is over and the compilation is finally out. It is here. I'm excited to get into this whole project. I've obviously been following the singles as they've come up to this point, but the whole compilation is out now. I've got a bunch of other new artists, a bunch of new tracks that haven't been released. I honestly thought um, we weren't going to get this many new tracks, but we did get a decent new track, some solo Champo stuff, um, some more uh, like Tokyo Machine here and there. We got the Half an Orange Milk Sack Squatch wine. Like there's lots of stuff on this, but uh, I'm excited to get into this. Uh, this is just such a unique and fascinating way to go about making a compilation in the way that they did it with the battle pass and this these challenges and all this other stuff like it was it was so fascinating so um i'm excited to hear what the music is all like fully all together the compilation so uh without any further ado you know let's just uh let's hop into things right off the bat uh i'm excited to get this going so here we go this is welcome by champo very Jurassic Park-esque. Okay, just it's very grand opening, just a very uh, cinematic feeling of a get into this project. So um, not too much I feel like I want to talk about here, but um, yeah, that's a, just a fun little neat uh, tone setter uh, for the compilation. So, uh, you know, come to think about it, I don't know many compilations that have uh, like welcomes or intros or preludes or anything like that because they're compilations. Oh, interesting. I, huh. Just off the top of my head, I couldn't think of anything. Uh, so let's head into the first single to be released. This is Chomp with Chompo and Tokyo Machine, who, if you guys are confused, Chompo is Tokyo Machine, just another alias of sorts. And so, um, yeah, here we go. This is uh, Chomp. Make your feet go stop by the beat go. I really like this song. This was like, like, it feels like a a throwback to an old Tokyo sound for me, and I really resonated with that personally, so I'm a big fan of Chomp. Make your feet go stop with a beat go. Make your feet go stop with a beat go. Such a nice meaty Tokyo just goes off on this. The sustained growls just feel so like OG Tokyo. Okay, Chomp, uh, great track. This one obviously set the tone uh, also for the rest of the project to come and kind of solidified what this was going to be and intro this whole project of uh, of Chompo, the label, dinosaur, Tokyomon, 2D thing, just the, everything that is Chompo. And so 
uh, not bound by any any form of media or uh, <laughs> or theme, I guess, is is Champa. Yeah, I, I really liked um, I really I really like this one Champa in particular. Token Machine. It feels like it's a older like mix of the kind of break slash bass house that Tokyo has done more so in the past. This feels like um, kind of early like fight or party days or something like that, where it just has more uh, just kind of a constant run at it. It, it just like I, I don't know what it is. I feel like the the old Tokyo is just like it lets absolutely like loose and so i like both versions there's there's a middle part where i like have a preference more so than anything like i think like a play or a spooky is my personal two favorite tokyo machine songs but uh this is up there honestly i'm i'm a huge i'm a huge fan of chomp so but uh this song's been out for a while so you probably have opinions on that at this point so let's head into the uh newer tracks this is uh trusty surfboard with or by champo here we go Okay. Quick and dirty little track in Trusty Surfboard. Um, very pun intended here. It's a very crunchy track. Um, we've got that nice little, uh, <laughs> I, I would say, blah, blah, but um, that's besides the point. It's a nice track. I, I really enjoyed it. I think this is another fun one. Uh, it's It kind of really goes with, I think, the thematic. And the reason I think this is early on, rather than like a more single track, is to establish this sort of sort of thematic of the compilation that is not so much just all these kind of single tile, style tracks all over the place. It's like, a, it can be anything and everything. And there might be these smaller, little, more um, dainty little tracks. I don't know if that's the right word exactly, but uh, these kind of just short little snippets of, of things that aren't... Um, it's not meant to be like this grand track. It's not meant to be this like kind of single to be like played everywhere. But this kind of more, I think, goes into the realm of what uh, of, of Chompo being for kind of video games. And so I think some of these more tracks that are just kind of Chompo uh, named are the ones that are a little bit more uh, like for video games. One to be to picked up by other people to use in other different realms and different areas that has a cohesive sound to it um, throughout. So you can use it in multiple different aspects or use multiple different songs. So uh, that is one of those uh, similar ones. So, and I'm assuming this next one might be as well too. So uh, this is Volcano. Uh, but I guess Tokyo Machine has uh, chosen to put himself on this producer list too. So here is Volcano. Wild song so far. Another just relentless track. Okay, I don't know if it's if I'm crazy, but I can already, I feel like I already know what style Champo is, and I know what style Tokyo Machine is, and I felt like that was a great culmination of the two. And so I don't know if that is is crazy to say off the bat, but I, I feel like that really was a collaboration, at least coming from trusty um, surfboard before, where I, I feel the two different types of 
um, styles, at least from Tokyo Machine, the two different types of producing styles melded into one here. So you got those lower kind of, uh, I don't even know what to, to call those, uh, the hits, the just very like metallic synth hits um, that are, are, are quite muted in some time, uh, sometimes at least, at least they were at the beginning, but or kind of pulled back. And uh, and just like the kind of, I don't know, carefree nature of the Chompo uh, alias uh, producer ID. So um, that one, that one's another fun one. Uh, that one is an interesting, interesting track too. I, I like the, uh, the kind of staircase sense or melody at the end. Um, just the kind of, just the rising and as it goes through. And so uh, that was, uh, that was yet another very enjoyable track, I would say. So uh, let's hop into uh, Happy Trails. Oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce this name. Still, um, I want to say Mommy Idofu, 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 Mommy Idofu. I, I want to say that I don't know if I'm right at all, but uh, this is another single that was released beforehand. So this is Happy Trails. section how can I forget okay happy trails um I think that's probably my second favorite song from the project uh which I will get into my favorite is later on when we get to that point but um this feels like it, it is perfect for this compilation, perfect for the kind of ecosystem that Tokyo Machine has created here with Champo. Uh, Mami Adufu feels like, um, it feels like Tokyo Machine just more polished and rounded, if that makes sense. And not that Tokyo's like harsh in a bad way, but Tokyo's a little bit more kind of chaotic and sporadic in a very, in an enjoyable sense. But um, this just feels more, yeah, it just feels more rounded. It feels more, it feels cleaner, uh, but both are still styles that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, Happy Trails just is a like kind of very lighthearted version of what a Tokyo Machine, of what Tokyo Machine would produce in some areas. So I'm a huge fan of the track. I think it's great. It's got the nice bright synth. It's got that uh, like rock and melody. It's got that um, big bass line that comes in, the string section at the end as well. So I, I just think it's a killer track. Um, so yeah, let's uh, head into the next track. This is just Champo. Here is Clouds. Oh, 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 
What does what does this melody remind me of? Uh, that was another great one. I'm really liking this so far. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, yet another one that feels like it's more meant to be uh, used in other contexts. It's meant to be a kind of evergreen song of sorts that's not uh, to be so much a single to be uh, listened to time and time again, which obviously that's great too, uh, but uh, to be used in more, I don't know, medias and more context, something that is more uh, universally usable, I think is the best way to put it. So uh, that one another feels like another more simplistic kind of track like that. So uh, let's head into the uh, n another single here, though. This is uh, Dodo by Megan Echo. Here we go. Going hard. Okay, Dodo. Um, that one I will say wasn't my favorite from the singles. Uh, just a style that I don't resonate with as much. Um, I think from my video game knowledge that one sounded like, uh, um, oh, what was it? The, the game the Joker's from. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now, but uh, yeah. And so I, that one, it's, I think that it was similar to that. It's not something that resonates with me particularly, but I do like the instrumentation of it. I like the kind of soloing aspect of that kind of midsection and then into the kind of very, uh, very fruity kind of uplifting uh, melodies. That is the main part that kind of sounds like a Stephen Walking track would be uh, on the kind of, I don't know if those are the bridge or the drops technically or what it is, but um, yeah, uh, fun song, but one not necessarily for my style so much so uh yeah let's uh let's head into the next track this is fire by uh half an orange milk and sack squatch here we go packing away my plans because i won't have trouble today i'm stashing all my worries in the trunk of a chevrolet my days and weeks months and years get brighter on fire I'm loving this. This is great. 
I'm feeling like a grand and I'm on the love that base. I left all of my troubles on an island castaway. I'm feeling like a grand and a brand new man. Months and years get brighter. The less I care, the more that I climb higher. And I know what's good for me. I can always guarantee that when drama comes my way, I am an igniter. I like that stuff on fire. Okay, where are we going at the end here? I freaking love this. I love that stuff on fire. Stuff on fire. Okay, um, that has got to be, I think, my favorite track of the compilation by far. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that. It was, it was funky. It was grooving. The vocals were great. Um, Sax Squatch was great too. The, I, I have the, like, I really enjoyed all of that. Um, I, I find sometimes. Uh, sometimes Half an Orange and uh, Sax Squatch can be a little gimmicky uh, with both the vocals from Half an Orange and the, just the just how prominent that sax is and how it just feels. I don't know. It, for, for me, sometimes it, it feels a little gimmicky. Um, but this was perfect. This was absolutely great. I, I I really enjoyed this. This is probably my favorite Half an Orange song in in quite some time. I uh, not to say this stuff has been bad, but like I just freaking love this. Um, man. That was, I, I really like that. Seriously, like, that was, that was great. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I was, I'm shocked at how much I, I genuinely enjoyed that song. Um, that I, I feel like I just want to go listen to it again right now. Uh, that <laughs> it just had such, like, a, um, it just, it, it, it had a beat that that kept you wanting more and kept the energy going and going and going and then um, into another verse and then Milk came in with her vocals and uh, and added a nice mix up from the kind of lower registered half an orange um, sound and uh, it was just I don't know I just I really loved it I really love that track that was great okay well, let's move on though we can't we can't stick on fire for so long but. Um, Yes, uh, we move. We will. Uh, we'll move into Swamp Wise. Here we go. Who's behind <laughs> Sack Squatch? <laughs> Okay, Sack Squatch, the Swamp Wise track. Um, that one I've said earlier on this channel in other capacities, but I think that's probably my favorite Sack Squatch song. Uh, it doesn't have like what I said with Fire. It's, I don't know, Sack Squatch for me can be a little bit more gimmicky in some area. I don't really know, I don't know how to describe it, um, but uh, this one feels like it's it's got a lot more, I don't know, intentionality behind it it's not so sax focused that it's like it's so on the nose um but and i know that's what is he is that's his thing i i get it i don't know it just um i like the song though. i i think it's a great track um i think this whole compilation is great up to this point and well i guess we'll see i know what's coming next but um yeah i uh 
I, I, I like the song. It, it feels a little more chilled out, a little bit more um, not too, I don't know, just doesn't get as intense is not right the is not the right word i'm looking for but it's something around that area where it's not quite as up it's not trying to do too much it's just a little bit more laid back a little bit more chill a little bit more reserved so i like the song though but uh let's get into bury dat uh this was actually the one that was my favorite song of all the singles released beforehand but i think fire beats it now so uh let's head into bury that though by guy arthur and champo right there they're kind of open sound Okay, buried at uh, my my second favorite track now, other than Fire. Um, I, what I think I love most about this track is that there's like the three different, very distinct sounds of that kind of uh, the the deeper, darker synth hit. There's like the more uh, like openly, I, I don't want to say metallic, just like the more open sound. There's the kind of deeper, more uh, more linear one, and then there's the kind of gritty one there too. And so there's like these these very different sounds that keep going that do this dance back and forth all the time and i really like the vocals too just the kind of just the quick and simple vocal chops all throughout that really add a lot of energy um and kind of oomph to the track to keep it going so uh i, I like the track a lot uh, i'm a huge fan it's also got the kind of uh bass house sound that i particularly am a, a fan for i have an affinity for so um it's all around something that i really really enjoyed and uh, also introduced me to guy arthur i uh, don't think i'd heard guy arthur up to this point so um thank you for that at least so uh let's move into the next track uh this is one of the newer ones uh, with stephen walking this is all right is just so Stephen Walking. Also the vocoder too, but... Okay, all right. Uh, Stephen Walking. Um, 
the song is like normal <laughs> of sorts. I think that's kind of the best way to put it. Uh, Stephen Walking has a history of these like really out of left field, very out there, kind of weird and very interesting, very creative tracks in the past. And this one just feels very, uh, <laughs> like I've kind of said before, like it's a little bit more linear. It feels a little bit more like a standard song, which I did not expect from Stephen Walking. Um, even the sounds and the production and the sound design just feels a little bit more uh, flatter than what he would normally do in a good way, I would say. Or like, it's not that it's, yeah, it's not that it's bad, but it's just, it's different and it, and it's also good. Um, it just doesn't quite have the, <laughs> I don't know, the charm, maybe the normal Stephen Walking charm, uh, which sometimes I really love and sometimes it feels a little weird. Um, but uh, this one I think worked just great uh, right down the middle. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was all right. And uh, let's head into uh, another single that was released here. This is Hey There uh, with Milk and a Fixa. Here we go. This is the fun one. You got that mix of the Kawhi future bass and then just the hardcore finale. I just want to start a new adventure PC screen always in my way Internet always starts my day It's Skeleton, you always do my side I'm flying down Okay, hey there. Uh, very, very fascinating track and just the different directions it took because um, it does go from this like kind of Kawhi future bass J-pop style uh, to just the hardcore back and the dong, 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 dong. It's just such a... Uh, just a, a fascinating dissonance. Both parts um, are are good sounding. They they they're very interesting, and, and I think the production's great. But just the and and it does flow to one another smoothly or relatively. And uh, but it just feels like a, such a weird one eighty turn twist. Uh, and so. That's one that doesn't re resonate with me again too much just because, first of all, I'm not a huge fan of like Kawhi Future Bass or J-Bop. Uh, I also don't love Hardcore, so that's just a song that I don't think is necessary for me. But if you love those two things, man, you're freaking love this song, I'm sure. So, uh, but yeah, uh, we got two tracks left though, so let's get into it. Um, this is Jungle Jam by Just Champo. Here we go.
yo, this song is a vibe. This song is what I expected, like, from, <laughs> or not expected. I, it sounds like to me, you know those, uh, I don't know, you find them in the random shops. It's like a, it's like a wooden frog. It's always a frog. And it's got, the back is like ribbed and you like, like put the wooden stick against it. Um, or then so you can like hit it or other things. This, that's what this sounds like to me. It's got like those kind of more natural-esque, just like on the beach, just like, ah, uh, just like relax and just vibing out hard. Um, so that, that song's a freaking vibe. Um, but uh, let's head into our final track. Uh, this is Someone, which was a single released earlier uh, with Nitro Fun and Tokyo Machine and Champo, I guess. So uh, here is Someone. Good old someone. This felt like a return to like a nitro fun sound that I have <laughs> enjoyed in the past. Um, not yeah, nitro fun's newer stuff was a little bit I don't know weird for me. It was like a it was like a it was like a more I don't even know how to describe it. It was just like dubstep that was a little bit not quite what I had known and kind of loved from nitro fun in the days past. But this feels like. A great mix of between both Tokyo Machine and Nitro Fun and just Nitro Fun's kind of older, more nostalgic Electro House track. So, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Someone. I think it's a great track also to end the album off or end the compilation off. It feels a little bit more grand in nature comparatively to kind of the other songs here. And um, I just think it's, it's just a great bookender. Uh, it was having Chomp kind of be the, the first one and then have Someone kind of be the last one. So uh, I, I think it's a great track. I, I enjoyed this one particularly more so than maybe some of the others. And um, yeah. But uh, overall, the compilation, uh, Chompo One, Chompo Season One. Uh, I think this was, I think this was a success all around. I think this was such a cool experience um, for the couple months that Chompo was of the challenges and the kind of the store stuff. And I was looking every Friday to see the new gear and all the uh, the new merch that was coming out. If I was going to pick anything up, but. Um, yeah, I, I just thought this was such a fascinating way to go about releasing a compilation, go about releasing music, and uh, I'm excited to see more of this in the future with specifically a season two uh, that is hopefully in the works that we know is actually in the works, and um, yeah, just made to see if other artists follow suit in some area and some aspect doing something a little bit more, I don't know, obviously not going to copy Ciampa one for one, but just having more of the kind of uh, game kind of more all encompassing and anything multimedia platform, uh, way to release music. So, uh, 
Way to go, Chompo. Way to go, Tokyo Machine. This was absolutely fantastic. I loved all of this. And uh, this was a huge success that I hope um, will be a, I think, I, I hope this is um, paving a path for more like this in the future. So uh, that's at least my take on it. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the compilation Chompo 1. Uh, but other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.